Hi, this is a short film to introduce the Fraser Optima Pressure Independent Balancing and Control Valve. This is a product made from brass, uh, desigification, CW602M, from a hot stamp forged process. And it is for installation on small uh, heating and cooling coils for flows up to around 2.4 litres per second. Like any pressure independent control valve, it includes three key functions. First is a differential pressure control cartridge, which maintains the constant uh, pressure loss across the inlet of the valve. Now, the KV or area of that inlet can be adjusted in one of two ways. Firstly, we can use the presetting scale to set the maximum uh, design flow that we want to go through the coil. And once that's set in accordance with a, a program, a sizing program we use, or perhaps with the IOM or the techno issued with the valve, then when uh, the valve returns to the fully open position, this will all be the, always be the maximum design flow. Once that's set, an actuator can be put on to the uh, valve. In this case, this is a 0 to 10 volts equal percentage actuator, but equally it could be linear or indeed it could be three point floating. So now what we have is the water flows into the valve through the inlet. The maximum flow has been set by the presetting and the signal coming back from the room sensor will make the actuator open and close in order to, just to uh, regulate just enough flow to maintain a constant temperature uh, in, the, in the room. However, elsewhere in the pipe system, as pumps speed up and slow down and other valves open and close, there will be lots of variations of pressure in the pipe work. These pressure variations that we don't want to affect the actuator position are absorbed by the differential pressure control cartridge, which is connected via a capillary to the upstream pressure. So the higher the upstream pressure, the more the outlet of the valve closes, and the lower, the more it opens. And in this way, we maintain a constant pressure across the inlet. The pressure loss across the valve can be verified using the onboard uh, pressure and temperature plugs. And finally, we can ensure that it is working in its operating range, which is anywhere between 20 and 400 kPa. Thank you for listening.